Right, yo, yo, so I, today I'm going to be watching a video by MTV because obviously MTV for the last, well, what I thought was the last couple of months, MTV have been trying to copy BuzzFeed and they've got on the hate train. But I watched a fellow YouTuber, Brad Does Banter's video uh, and, and I, I saw his thing and I was like, oh shit, MTV are trying to be BuzzFeed again. And I was like, oh, wait. This is uploaded in 2016. Like, the March, two, this is like almost a year ago. The video hurt me, and I thought, although Brad's points were good, I'm gonna fucking, uh, m uh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna have to make a response to this. I can't not. Basically, everyone and their dog freaking made a video on, uh, when MTV copied the whole BuzzFeed hating white people thing. If you don't remember that, then, it doesn't really matter. This video is just as bad. I don't want to put you through the pain of having to watch that video. So we're just going to watch this one. And I must say, I have not watched this video all the way through yet. When I watched part of it, it was very bad. It was very bad. All right, let's get this, this train rolling. MTV News asked us to explain why there is an immense history month. Because if there's one thing important to do during Women's History Month, it's talk about men. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I'm probably really stupid here. Is there a Women's History Month? I know there's Black History Month, yeah, but is there, wait, let me let me check. Um, Women's History Month. Women's History Month 2016. Okay, I, I didn't know that. That shows how fucking important these months are. Gentlemen, we think you're great. Women's History Month isn't about taking away anything from men. Wait, was that supposed to be like a metaphor for like chopping the car a guy's dick in half? But for real though, why would why would you guys be taking away anything from somebody by celebrating Women's History Month? Like who who said that? Nobody. Literally nobody's ever said that ever. Okay, I wouldn't dream of it. How dare I? You know those conversations you have with your dad or your grandfather about how you weren't allowed to do things because of your gender? Yeah, I've definitely been told that I wasn't allowed to do things because of my gender. Uh, like, uh, I don't understand where this comes from, that like, guys can magically fucking do everything. Or that you were denied a promotion at work because you weren't wearing that hot skirt? Actually, yes. I have been denied that promotion because I haven't been able to wear that hot skirt. Because guess what? Where I'm a male, I don't get the option of being able to wear a hot skirt and get a promotion. I have to work my ass off. <laughs> but like for real though, where does, where does suddenly you're a man make you able to do everything? Like I'm sorry fucking, where I'm pretty sure it's a million times easier to be a model as a woman coming from somebody who has past modeling experience It's way fucking easier to be a female model than a male model. We can't go into women's bathrooms We fucking we can't really do go to beauty pageants and do all that shit unless we want to be made a fool of We can't cry in public without people fucking making us think we're a wuss, you know, we can't fucking like Oh man, I wish I could just be hot and get everything that I want, you know? That would be sick. No? You mean there hasn't been a systemic oppression of men for thousands of years? Oh, that's right, it's women. I don't know about you, but I don't I don't care about a women's history month. Go for it. Do a women's history month. You obviously fucking have some reasons to do it. But like nobody here is asking for a men's history month. Like nobody I've I've never heard it be suggested. <laughs> And so some people thought it'd be nice to have a month to celebrate all the awesome things that women have done for themselves and for the world. A whole month? A whole month? Uh, but, the, uh, I don't know about you, but I'm going to prefer the whole month of 420 in 2020 in a couple years time. That's going to be my whole month of joy. Uh, I don't think Women's History Month is going to be my month of joy. Like you probably don't know who Eileen Collins is. I barely know who Eileen Collins is. Or Mary Lou Williams. <laughs> I don't know who any of those people are. And do you want to know why? Do you want to know why? Because I literally couldn't give less of a fuck. Wait, who were they? I wasn't even listening. Yeah, you, do you want to know why I don't know any of these people? Because I don't know any names of 
anyone who is a commander of a space shuttle, and then who was the other person? A, a renowned American jazz pianist. Why the fuck would I know that? Like, I, I don't know other, like, regardless of their stance, I don't know how famous these people were or what, what, like, changes they made to the world. I don't know any. I, I literally regard, I don't, that's not because of their fucking gender. That's just because I literally don't give a fuck about jazz pianists or fucking commander of space rockets. Like, I don't care. To be honest, I'm having trouble understanding why anyone would want a men's history month. I think this whole country is a celebration of the phallus. No, again, nobody's asked for a men's history. I haven't seen anybody ask for a men's history month. It's like we celebrate so many dudes that we're running out of dudes to celebrate. Now we've moved on to the dudes that are kind of D-bags. Wait, 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 what? What? Wait, what? What did they just say? It's like we celebrate so many dudes that we're running out of dudes to celebrate. Wait, wait, we've been celebrating so many dudes. But I've been, wait, what? It's like we celebrate so many dudes that we're running out of dudes to celebrate. It's like we're celebrating so many dudes who were running running out of dudes to celebrate? I'm too fucking high to, to know what that means. <laughs> what actually happened? Christopher Columbus was literally a genocidal pimp who couldn't read a map, and now six-year-olds sing songs about him in school. All of that, all of that was, was just complete shit. <laughs> Like, what just happened to that, to, to that last fucking 10 seconds of that video? What just happened? Where's my song? I've done better than him, and I ain't done much, but I've never genocided. And I've done better than him, like, I've killed more people than him, where's my song? And then she's like, but I've never genocided. Like, wait, is, genocided is not a word. How did, how did they, how did they put this in a video? Surely it's, I have never committed the act of genocide. Sure, wait, is, that's probably wrong as well. I don't give a fuck, but surely genocided. I've never genocided. That's not a word. How did MTV put this up? Meanwhile, people probably can't name the three women that started Black Lives Matter, which is one of the most important movements of our lifetime. No, I can't name those people. Because I don't care what I like the names of people doesn't change what they do. Like knowing who they are, knowing this, oh, you don't know this person's name, so that means they didn't do it. Like what? That if they've made such an impact on the world, who the fuck cares if you know their name? Like if you want to make an impact on the world, and oh my god, they're the, the, the biggest group of all time, they're, they're making the biggest changes. Like, why does it matter if people know your name? Surely you should be happy with the, the the fact that you changed the world. The fuck? So a Men's History Month would be a little redundant. You know, like celebrating Fireworks Day on the 4th of July, or Food Day on Thanksgiving, or Men on President's Day. <laughs> what? <laughs> or food on, on food, food day on Thanksgiving. What, what food day? Are you fucking, what? Five years old or something. Right. Okay, first off, that made me laugh. That made me laugh at them. But I'm not laughing with them. That made me laugh at them. And then President's Day. What? I didn't even know that was a thing. So you're not celebrating men. You're celebrating the president. And if that happens to be a man, you can obviously you can see that. Like, holy shit. Men celebrating men on President's Day. No, that's not what you're celebrating. You're not celebrating men like, oh, oh, it's President's Day today. Uh, we let's let's all eat some penis like to celebrate uh, men. You know, like, no. <laughs> There's still institutionalized sexism that prevents us from achieving or even earning the same amount as a man. It's insane. And frankly, I, I mean, I think that there's so much more that you know we can do. Good. I'm actually, I'm gonna cut you off there. I think we got what we need. Thank you so much. What? Good. Yes, that guy filming. Thank you very much. You said what literally everybody was thinking since the first five seconds. Yep, thank you, that's it, I've had enough. Thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure you drop it a like, a comment, and a subscribe if you enjoyed. I do like occasionally making these reaction-y style videos, uh, so I will make some more in the future. Uh, I got this idea actually to, because I, I didn't know about this video until uh, Brad Does Banter, he's a fellow YouTuber on this site, he made a video about it, and as soon as I saw that I was like, 
Oh shit, I need to fucking make a video on this. I can get BuzzFeed and MT MTV in the title, just like Brad did in, in his. You know, we're getting them clicks. Go check his video out, I'll have it at the end of this. But make sure you drop me a subscribe, because then you go over to his video, and then when you've watched his video, you continue watching my videos, not his videos. I need the ad revenue, please.